both teams were without starting guards Tuesday night when the Miami Heat faced the Toronto Raptors at Air Canada Centre. Heat coach Eric Spolstra said 90 minutes before tip-off that Tyler Johnson would be sidelined due to a shoulder strain sustained during the morning shoot-around. He's getting treatment, Spolstra said. We'll see where we go from here. Johnson had been filling in as the starting shooting guard in place of Dion Waiters, who remains sidelined with a sprained left ankle, away from the team for this two-game trip that concludes Wednesday night against the Indiana Pacers at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. With the team also without sidelined Justice Winslow, Rodney Magruder and Okaro White, guard Derek Walton Jr. rejoined the team, having traveled to participate in the G League's showcase later this week in Toronto. Hopefully he can do a film session and be ready, Spolstra said. Spolstra said it was too early to determine Johnson's status for Wednesday's game. The Heat then have a three-day break in their schedule before next playing against the Milwaukee Bucks on Sunday at American Airlines Arena. It's just a strain, Spolstra said. Strain happens any time in your back, shoulder. We're getting treatment. The Raptors were without all-star point guard Kyle Lowry with what his team listed as a bruised tailbone and back spasms. Lowry was injured during the overtime of the Raptors' Monday night victory over the Brooklyn Nets at Barclays Center, having to be lifted off the court and carried into the locker room by teammates. The Raptors said Tuesday that X-rays were negative and that Lowry would be evaluated daily. Lowry is second on the Raptors in scoring at 16.2 points per game, averaging a team-high seven assists. January 9, 2018 Q credit Josh Richardson's last-second winning layup to multiple shooters having to be covered, leaving him one-on-one. -on -one. Six Heat players scored in double figures in Sunday's victory over the Jazz. Last season, the Heat were the only team to have eight players average double figure. January 9, 2018 Q, credit Josh Richardson's last-second winning layup to multiple shooters having to be covered, leaving him one-on-one. -on -one. Six Heat players scored in double figures in Sunday's victory over the Jazz. Last season, the Heat were the only team to have eight players average double figure. Coach Eric Spolster discusses the Heat's tight rotation. 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 Miami Heat guard Josh Richardson thrived in braids, but now he is tempting success with new look. Miami Heat guard Josh Richardson thrived in braids, but now he is tempting success with new look. Miami Heat guard Wayne Ellington says the sky's the limit for Josh Richardson. Miami Heat guard Wayne Ellington says the sky's the limit for Josh Richardson. Miami Heat head coach Eric Spolster recounts Josh Richardson's game-winning basket. Miami Heat head coach Eric Spolster recounts Josh Richardson's game-winning basket. Sun Sentinel reporter IRA Wind Ehrman recaps the Miami Heat's win over the Utah Jazz.